Sorry about the beginning. Um, that was really rude, but wait. Sorry about the beginning. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry about the beginning. As I said. Sorry, I'm eating popcorn again. I'm addicted to popcorn. Oh, wow. I'm Ow. I checked my teeth with popcorn the other day, which was bad. And I'll have a big dent in the back of my neck. Neck. Tooth. Um, yeah, so today I'm not sure, well, not today, but like in this video, I'm not showing, I'm not showing you my collectibles or giving it a rating out of 10 and stuff. I recently did my turn planner and stuff like that. But today I'm going to do a make, and I think they're really cool to have. Most of people do it, but they don't tell you how to do it or where to get the stuff. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make the advanced potions potion making book with like thing on the back. And do, 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 do. this is one of my favourite ones. Though. When muggles attack, I think it's quite cool. See? Uh huh. And I'm showing you how to make them. So, um, it's basically cost me just to have the ink out of printer and one pound fifty so comes to around five quid for two Harry Potter books which is okay but you know it costs a bit more because of the ink but if all together it would probably just cost one pound fifty but I don't pay for the ink around here so it's cost one pound fifty and I didn't even have to pay for that so I got them for free so you might get them for free your parents are really nice like mine so um yeah um Let's get started. This one is basically um, the one in the Deathly Hallows, part one. And the like people in the ministry are just going, passing them on and like showing everyone the leaflets about when muggles attack and you have to eat a clear of muggles to kill them and stuff. It's got a picture of a really old Victorian man. I think it's quite cool. It looks like um, World War II kind of thing. It's quite cool. And it's got the uh, thing on the thing. This isn't actually the mark when Muggles Attack actually made it. It's actually um, an Artemis Fowl um, thing. But I got this in a charity shop and it's got like really cool like symbol in it. So, this one. so first few thing you need to do is find um, is to find one book if you're going to do one or two or whatever you want to do. Um, you need to find one or two books with preferably for the best effect get one with um, a cover like this and then you'll probably have one of those hardback bits you know the hard bit a hardback a hardback that's what I'm trying to say uh, a hardback and then you probably have like a black or a red or something like that this was an Artemis Fowl so it actually just came in like that if I can get it to fit on I don't know how it goes on that's stupid of me just goes on it went on like something like that and it was like I'm just trying to make it go in for a minute. So it just basically... This is really irritating. It just basically went in like that. I took it out. There was a thing. Like a black. And then I just... Basically did some. So I bought two Ottomans Fowl things from just... You can find it around the house. Or you can go and buy it from a charity shop. Each of these two Ottomans Fowl things were um, 75p each. That was £1.50. Done. So basically I found my templates for these on the internet i did both of these both on my i on this ipad yeah i'm actually videoing this thing on my ipad as well cool. <laughs> so yeah actually printed this off from my ipad which is quite cool um so yeah so we have to do is find a template on um google or bing or whatever your supplier is but i prefer to use google it's quite cool um it should be like a long stretch. It has the spine in the middle and then the front cover and the back cover. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like, but it's a long strip and it has both of the things. So it looks kind of like a printout of that. Yeah? So it looks like that. But not on a book. It's just that. No background. Just like that. Okay? So then save it to your computer or your iPad. I did it on the iPad. And it should be in your gallery or wherever you want it to be. Um... So that's good. <laughs> and then what I did, I was like, because I have a, on the iPad, I use this thing called Pages Snap. It's really good, but it's quite irritating. So I cut, cropped it into the cover and the spine and the back cover and the spine. I copied and pasted it into Pages and then I printed it out. And what you have to do is measure it with a ruler. 
the set um, the size of the book. I just measured it so I knew the height, and then I just freestyled kind of from the height and then the width. So I got the height, printed it out, and then I wrapped it round. This is the kind of bad thing. This one has a spine bit here. This one doesn't. It just kind of goes from there into ugh, got upside down into advanced potions because it kind of went a bit badly. Mm. You know, because I'm a bit stupid that way. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, basically what you have to do is print it out, then measure it, and then just get a bit of glue. I've got some glue here to show you. Glue, and then just stick it on the book. Go, and then I did it on the thing as well. So it's really sticky. <laughs> My precious glue. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like it. Um, so I stuck it on, blah, 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 like that. And then wrapped it around like that. And then for the muggles attack, because there's a bright yellow thing, I decided to stick the Ministry symbol on the inside as well. And I picked the Artemis Fowl thing, so there's all these weird symbols at the bottom, so it looked quite Harry Pottery, I think. Um, and I did the same for advanced potions, but without the spine. But what you have to do is basically beat it up a bit, like obviously not like that but I kind of um, split it I just poured it out like that ripped it but I got I used these cute baby scissors and I just cut it because it's really Megamind's dancing with uh, Tina Fey <laughs> so I just cut it along there like that um, and just basically just went like this I don't know if you can see that it's kind of beating up then I went along the edges just like this so basically just beat it up a bit and then to give it extra effect I just I don't know if you can see that but it's gold marker pen again from what I used on the Tom Riddle's diary to write it in I just used this marker and I just coloured the pages in along here you don't actually have to go through each and every page to colour it in you just literally go like this ow yeah that's better you should just go around and colour it like that, yeah? Then also did it along here. Like all on this bit to here. And I just scraped it to make it look a bit more authentic. And that's basically how I made my two cool books from Harry Potter. Oh, and I used a fountain pen to do this. It doesn't look very authentic, but I did it anyway. Yes, book, it's property of our blood print. And you can see where I cut it and stuff. Um, and then it's got all these cool weird symbols at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It's more of a storybook. But if you turn the page, it kind of ruins it. <laughs> so I recommend using Artemis Fowl things. But if you can find any books with weird symbols in it. Sorry, I might chink and scratching. Um, that's really good. So that if you want to rewind it because you don't get it. Or if you're confused about anything, please comment below. Subscribe. And then I like you. You like me. Everybody's happy. Oh my god, that round. That was really good. <laughs> what is that one? What is that? I don't even know what, what nursery rhyme that is. How sad is that? Please comment below and tell me what nursery rhyme that is that goes na 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 I don't know what that is. I can't remember what it's called. Ah, please help me find my head, my brain. Yeah. So thanks a lot. This is the end of this episode. Please check out Sirius Black's one with two K's at the end instead of a CK. Um, he's got really cool stuff on his. Please subscribe to him as well. I don't actually know him in person, but he's got really cool stuff going on on there. Um, he literally have bought everything. Everything. Sorry, I'm eating popcorn again. And I recommend... Um, I don't know. Butter Kissed. Butter Kissed. It's really good. It's really yummy. And I'm British, by the way. British culture. I'm dead American. I might sound American. I don't know. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.